Hello, my name is Barbara Calhoun and today I will review the findings of a study done by Nadine Gabb and her colleagues. This study was published in Restorative Neurology and Neuroscience in 2007. Studies have shown that in adults with developmental dyslexia, there is a disruption of the left prefrontal cortex's response to short sounds. This is important since speech is made up of numerous short sounds and a person's mastery of the subtle sounds of spoken language is related to their reading ability. In this study, the researchers wanted to extend those findings to children. They did this by investigating which regions of the children's brain were active in response to rapid auditory stimuli, determining whether the activation patterns were similar in children with dyslexia and children with typically developing reading skills, determining whether these differences could be remediated, and determining whether the remediation also resulted in changes in language and reading skills. Forty-five children took part in the study. The average age was ten and a half. Twenty-two had developmental dyslexia, and twenty-three had typically developing reading skills. All the students were behaviorally and physiologically assessed. Some students used the Fast Forward Language product, an intensive intervention that builds rapid auditory processing, phonological, and linguistic skills. Fast Forward Language is an intensive computerized product that uses sounds and processed language to help build students' foundational learning skills, including their auditory processing skills, their memory, their attention, and their sequencing. The version of the product that was used did not include any orthographic stimuli. There was no text. It was all sounds and pictures. The students used the Fast Forward Language product for 100 minutes a day five days a week for eight weeks. The behavioral tests evaluated students' early reading skills and reading achievement. They were the comprehensive test of phonological processing, the clinical evaluation of language fundamentals, and the Woodcock Reading Mastery Test. These tests evaluated students' ability to manipulate the sounds in language, such as adding a s to cat to get cats, as well as their ability to use language in general and their ability to read and understand words, sentences, and paragraphs. In addition to the behavioral tests, fMRI was used to measure students' brain activity while they were doing a task unrelated to reading and language. They were listening to sounds that changed in frequency, like a whistle. The pretests showed that the students with dyslexia had reading skills that were significantly below the reading scores of their typically developing peers. In this figure from their study, highlighted areas are regions that were more active to sounds that had fast changes in frequency than to sounds that had slow changes in frequency. In the typically developing reader, there are several regions where there was a difference. In the children with developmental dyslexia, there were not differences between the cortical responses to fast and slow changes in frequency. After using the Fast Forward Language product, students' reading and language skills were reevaluated. The students had made improvements in sight word reading and passage comprehension, as well as their total language skills and phonological awareness. These improvements were statistically significant. In addition, the student's cortical activity was reevaluated. On the left, we are reminded that in children with dyslexia, there are no regions where they have significant differences between the cortical responses to fast transitions and the cortical responses to slow transitions. The figure on the right shows several regions where the differences in activation increased after remediation, more similar to the activation patterns of children with typical development. Of particular interest is the left prefrontal region, an area that has been repeatedly shown to have different processing in children with dyslexia. The results of this study are consistent with the hypothesis that deficits in auditory processing can compromise the ability to process rapid changes 
in frequencies such as those that occur within phonemes, and that this impairment can lead to a deficit in the phonological processing of oral language, which in turn can lead to a reading impairment. These results also show that the neural circuitry of children with developmental dyslexia is plastic. It can be changed. Effective remediation can be accomplished by focusing on improving rapid auditory processing and oral language skills, and results in improved reading and language skills, as well as increased brain activity in response to rapidly changing sounds. Thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, please refer to the study or contact our customer service team.